Breakfast is a favor, Lavery. I need to talk. I asked if I could talk to my friend Angel Moran. I haven't heard from him yet. Well, write him a letter. It'll help pass the time. Now, you don't understand. This, this could be a matter of life and death. Not only do I understand, but believe it or not, I've heard that line a hundred times before. Like, listen to me. Last night, I asked for somebody to contact Mr. Moran. And mm -hmm. nobody has done that. Please, I have to see him. I have to talk to him. Gee, that's a shame. What do you expect me to do about it? I'd like you to try again. You gotta be kidding. Mr. Moran could be in serious trouble. I have to see him. I want to talk to him. Now, would you do that for me, please? Don't expect me to run your errands for you, Larry. If he's a friend of yours, he deserves anything he gets. Got it. We're very good at taking orders, huh? Listening to orders, Angel. What are you, what are you talking about? I, I gave Duke the message. Yeah, well, it didn't get through to him, or else Lavery is dumber than I think. What are you all worked up about? A little visit I got from Scorpio and Anna Devane proved that Lavery spilled his guts, Angel. Look, let me get in touch with Duke. Okay? A little late for that, wouldn't you say? No, maybe not. I don't know what he told him. Let me get in touch it's with him. already them. set, Angel. I made sure that he's going to get my message. Well, I hope he's listening. Look, I can talk to him. It won't hurt to talk to him, right? Okay, you do that. But this time, you make sure he gets it through his thick head. We mean business. I don't trust him any more than I trust Lavery. Well, good reason. He only takes orders from Duke. Yeah, well, <laughs> Duke's not in any position to give orders now. So what are we supposed to do now? We wait. Damon, we are sitting ducks. Angus should have contacted us by now. Until we hear from him, we have no orders to proceed. Uh, we'll be hearing from Mr. B soon enough. Huh? All right, from intensive care? No, he's being moved to a private room today. As soon as he gets the IVs and the tubes taken out, he'll get in touch with us. I just know it. How can you be so sure? Because I just know it. Damon, where are you getting your information? It's not like you can just walk into the hospital or make a phone call. I have my ways. How's it going? Yeah, it's pretty slow. They sent me over to relieve you, Wells. Really? I thought I was scheduled to guard Chief Ramsey until this afternoon. Guess they changed the schedule. Mm, sounds typical. This is nothing. When I was back in New York, the brass used to put out six or seven different schedules every day. Well, then I guess one little change shouldn't bother me that much, huh? I'll uh, just head over to Chief Devane's because I think Eric will need some help with Robin. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Bye, Sam. Catch you later, Wells. So, how do you like working in Port Charles? This is great. You know, I was worried about moving to a smaller city. I've been here six months, and uh, wait just a second, doctors. Uh, we need to see some identification. And we heard Chief Ramsey's regaining consciousness. Uh, we still need to see some IDs. Okay. Fine. Thank you, doctors. You can go in. Bert, you're going to be just fine. You've been a friend for a long time, but I gotta tell you, you were made of stronger stuff than I even thought possible. Well, I never doubted it for a minute. Don't let that tube throw you something that's coming out. It's just temporary. It's an endotracheal tube. We got the bullet out. And Duke Lavery's in jail, so you don't have anything to Amy, worry about. All your friends are rooting for you, Chief. Mm. Yeah, not to mention the uh, entire Port Charles Police Department. Doctors, if you'll excuse me just a minute, please. Let me finish up. Remember a time when Frisco Jones would be top on both those lists? Yeah, well, lots happened to change that in the last few months. Yeah. 
starting with his opinion of the police department. I'm so tired before. Please do not have a girl. Good time. Listen, the next time I want to play undercover cop and chase somebody from the IRS, just tell me to shut up and stay home, okay, honey? Promise me that. Also, we just went on a wild goose chase. At least we had a good time at the state capitol. Ann and Robert are always telling me to trust my gut instincts. I need to sharpen them up a little bit. You were just obeying Robert's orders. Come on, let's go upstairs. Frisco? Felicia, where did oh, you be in? Um, a, a romantic holiday. Oh, I figured. You haven't heard about Bert Ramsey, then? What about him? He was shot while I was trying to make an arrest. Oh, no. How's he doing? Well, it was pretty touch and go for a while. He's going to be fine. The person who's not going to be fine, though, is the person who shot him. Somebody we know? It's your boss, Duke Lavery. There's not much to tell because the police haven't released any of the details. All I know is that Anna arrested Duke for the shooting, and he's in jail. Must have killed her. I feel sorry for Robin. She was hoping that Duke would become her stepfather. Last time I talked to Anna, she was discussing her wedding plans. I have to ride into the hospital in a few minutes. Both of you want to ride with me? Why would we want to ride? To see Bert, of course. I don't have anything to do with cops anymore, Bobby. Frisco, Bert Ramsey has been nothing but a very good friend to you. I'm not going to change my opinion of a man because he's lying on his back. I'll go to the hospital with you, Bobby. Okay. I'm going to get dressed. Did you have to say that in front of Bobby? That's exactly why I said it. So I won't risk blowing my cover. I mean, I feel terrible about this whole thing. I mean, you know how much I care about Anna and Robin, and especially Bert. I know. It's hard to believe about Duke. Well, I guess Robert was right all along. We're lucky he came back to Port Charles when he did. Don't write Duke off so soon. Why would he suit Bert Ramsey? I don't know. I want to talk to Robert. There must be some information not released to the public. Ramsey must have found something out about Duke. Why else would Duke try to kill him? Scorpio is very anxious to talk to you, but I told him no way not till that tube comes out. Okay. Don't even try to talk, Bert. That's why we brought you this. Uh. Now you can write notes. Uh. Duke? I wouldn't mm. worry about Duke. Anna and Scorpio question him before they put him into jail. Yeah, and looks like that's where he's going to remain to the grand jury hearing. Boy, I'd love to know what his story Amy. is. Amy. Mm. Guard. Well, you know how it is, Rick. You know, inquiring minds want to know. Guard? Mm. Burns, guard Burns, you mm. want to talk to him? Mm -hmm. All right, fine, just just relax. Uh, guys, why don't we go outside and give him some room to breathe? Okay. Don't talk, use that. What do you want me to do, boss? That was a weird conversation with Robert. In what way? Well, he didn't have much to say in Duke's defense. He just told me to continue my undercover work at Duke's, see if any more strangers show up. None of this makes any sense. No. Felicia, can you come here for a sec? I need some help. Yeah, I'll be right there. Hang in there. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Hi. Why the long face? Oh, I just have a lot on my mind. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Uh, Robert told me he wanted me to help you today. What's up? Oh, that won't be necessary now. I did a little detective work and I uh, came up with an interview subject all my own, and I do mean dug it up. Well, who are you going to interview him? Damon Grenville. I found out he's over at Duke's office. Why does Robert want you to interview Damon Grenville? I'm not going to tell you another word until I uh, get my first cup of coffee. Do you think Bobby has any left? article about Duke shooting Ramsey. Hmm? Why do you keep looking at the one ads? I already have a job. Oh, well, that's not the only thing that's in here. Jake and I might have some very exciting news in the next few days. Yeah, we could use some good news. This stuff about Duke and Rams is getting very depressing. It's got Jake confused. What do you mean? Well, Duke finally decided that he needed a lawyer. So Jake went down to the police station, and when he got there, Duke decided that he didn't need any legal representation. I'm 
talking to Duke. 